Lovely. Let's go to the third move of the Shaw Hypno Qigong sequence. Nine moves. Did one until the last one. Uh, I'm just going to do the one here. Uh, white crane spreads its wings. Nice one. Opens out the chest. All the organs in the chest. The heart. The lungs. The pericardium. We're all getting a stretch there. Um, again, the pecs. Obviously, are getting a stretch here. Even the hands. These finger flexors go for a lot when we're sort of you know on computers, etc. So again, it's really good to stretch these finger flexors and the nerves running from the little finger to the neck and the thumb to the neck. The radial and all the nerves are getting a release and nerve stretch in with this. Also, these ITB bands, tensor vasculite muscles, all the side muscles here are getting a release as we step over here. Even your obliques slightly. And we're gonna open out the chest. So I'm just gonna go for the whole lot. Again, just going for a few benefits there. Um, same deal, breathe in the belly like a balloon and exhale for as long as you like. Nice meditative breath, okay? Again, to, medica to meditate is to medicate. So again, you breathe in the belly like a balloon and simply elongate the exhale. Again, that's gonna really help the subconscious side of the body, the housekeeping side of the body function in a more beneficial manner. When you breathe in it's conscious thought, when you exhale, it's subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're gonna encourage in sleep, rest, and relaxation. So again, I'll leave it there. Let me go straight back and demonstrate. We might need a bit of room for this. So again, we come forward a little bit. Again, we're gonna start here. So we're gonna cross the hands. So cross this way. And again, we're gonna simply open out the chest. You're gonna step across. Okay, and just come to here, okay, and then we're going to step across. Okay, so we're going to start from here. Let's start, let's go in this way, struggling for room here. So we're going to come up, we're going to step up, step across, straighten up, and open out the chest. Going to put, mix the breathing in in a minute, and step back, and then step across, and open out the chest, okay? Again, I'm struggling for a bit of room here, but I'm just gonna move about a bit. Again, from here. So again, we're collapsing inwards, dying off, okay? And then from here, you're stepping across and opening out the chest here. Again, you're gonna step across, wrap inwards, and open out the chest. Again, don't hyperextend the back. Gather in, maintain good structure, but don't overdo this, okay? We go through this, again, and step across, wrap inwards, and open out the chest. So again, and step across, here, and open out the chest. Again, just get used to this motion to start off with. Again, collapsing inwards, dying off, and open out the chest. Step across, wrap inwards, then unwrap. You're wrapping and unwrapping with this one. So again, I'm gonna mix the breathing as usual. Again, collapsing inwards, dying off. And exhale. Step across and exhale for as long as you like. And just carry on. Same deal. Gonna wrap inwards, then open out. Wrapping and unwrapping. Winding and unwinding. Coiling and uncoiling. As you open out the chest. Okay, again, and step across. Again, I'm keeping this a bit short so I'm getting the camera. But normally we're doing big steps across and wrapping inwards. Okay, so again, you just step across, wrap inwards. And exhale, open out that chest, not hyperextending the back, open out the chest. If you want to do a few of these here, you can do. Again, I'm just not so much going on the breath yet, because it's, it's quite a complex motion, this one. If you want to do a few of these, then feel free to open out the chest. And then finger flexors, going to collapse inwards, die off. It's a...
keeping tension out the shoulders. Again, open up that chest and just simply elongate the out breath. Again, keep a natural arch. I have to remind myself not to do this. Again, just really breathe that belly like a blue, but not so much as sort of doing this. Don't force anything. Be gentle on the breath. Remember, there's no need to force it. It's under, under our noses. It's right there, under our noses. So all we have to do is just breathe in and make the out breath longer. Don't force anything and try and carry on and on and on. Again, just breathe in when you're ready. It can be slightly longer, but just go for as long as you can with ease without going them extra breaths out. It's not necessarily breathe in and exhale. Again, everyone have a different count. It could be sort of seven, 11, breathe in near enough, or five to nine even, or five to eight. Again, out breath, slightly longer than the in breath, or might be a lot longer. Everyone will be different, but just elongate the out breath. But get the motion, because there's quite a lot in that motion to start off. If you want to miss this bit out, then miss it. Just, just stick to the gross movement of just you know wrapping inwards and then opening up that chest and then collapsing inwards again wrapping in stepping across and opening up the chest again nothing too specific again my shoulders come in there so I have to remind them to stay down you might be the same okay back neutral breathe in the belly like a balloon and elongate the out breath everything natural not forcing anything so that's the third move of the hypno qigong sequence uh have got a classic cloud cloud hands next uh four four lovely bang